Because of bad government and bad governance, the way the citizens of Nigeria, the Jagba, come on for Nigeria, Omo, <laughs> is alarming. I want you to just watch this video and hear what it is our brother at all. You will understand, say, everything we talk for here, not pure truth. It, uh, every day, if you go to immigration, see Nigerians, because they are giving up. During the SR, a lot of people leave. During this protest, Entry of this protest, people decided to leave because the government are not here to listen. They don't want to listen to the citizens or to do anything. So as everybody they don't come out for the country, not the tapa. Just watch the video. Hi guys, Dr. Zo here. Happy weekend. Uh, morning from Canada. I'm about to go to work and uh, this is Friday. I decided to just make a short video before I go for my followers. And my topic today is I, I cry for Nigeria. I really, really weep for that country now, I'm telling you. The, the things that are happening under my, you know, things I see now is, is shocking. You won't believe the number of people that are leaving the country today. Every day I see families, tons of families in my clinic, they are relocating, they don't want to go back to Nigeria. You open social media, 150,000 people collected UK visa this year, they're not going back. The ones we sent, you go to Paris Olympic, so many Nigerians are playing for other countries, happily. Adobe is playing, representing Ireland, uh, Day is representing Bahrain, this is what you're going to see there. And the worst one is that even the people that came there, under the umbrella of Nigeria and negotiating with other countries, to Japan. If I talk now, say, ah, propaganda, you know, Naibo man, I, I am... I weep for that country. Our leaders don't even see it. Our leaders don't see it. They don't, they don't, I don't know whether they have television or on social media, they don't see these things that we see. People are disappearing. Your own is to go and collect loan, IMF loan and buy a airplane and use 21 billion and build a house for VP. Buy SUVs for politicians. That is your interest. Very soon, there won't be anybody to service that loan. Nigeria, they will go and import people from China will come and buy over the I'm telling you. But you guys don't see those things. I, a family came to register me. They recently moved from Nigeria, you know. So many of them come. But the one that touched me is one of them said, say, oh God, you know, if things get better, maybe later on, they will move back to Nigeria. I, I honestly, when he left, I tears ran down my eyes. You know why? Because that was exactly what I said 22 years ago when I came to the West. Till today, things are still worse. Nigerians always know how to get it worse. Each time. Each time we get it worse. Because honestly, I did not believe there would be anybody who was an allergic word. Like Abandanda. Maybe next time, Nanti Ramada. My brother, I, I, it's, a, it's a pity. All I'm saying is... Our leaders should see what is happening, the impending de doom that is, you know. I, some people are protesting back home, and some of them hoist other countries' flags. Our military will go and uh, harass them. Why are you harassing them? They are acting out. They are telling you how they feel. That's, that is the most important thing for you to get from those messages, not to go and harass those families. They are acting out. They, they want, they, they are desperate, they are frustrated. That's why they hoist other countries' flags. Don't blame them. As they say in my place, if a child is crying and pointing at somewhere, if his father is not there, his mother is there. You have to find out the cause of the problem and solve it. The country is disappearing slowly, slowly. And to be honest with you, all these families that come here, they don't, they won't go back. As I said, I said the same thing 22 years ago. I even made plans. Ten years, I got everything I wanted. I was a specialist. I had foreign passport, everything, houses here and back home. I could not go. I made another attempt, 2014. Ebola stopped me. Omo, Nasa, Dei, Tildeo. They're not going back. You're losing human resources. You don't see it. Don't even discuss it. That is not an issue at all. You only to go and harass people, small, small boys and girls that are venting out their anger, their frustration, their valid frustration. You're venting it out on them. Let me tell you what's going to happen. See, it happened in a lot of countries. I I see a lot of Ethiopian and Eritrean families that they fought wars and all that. They've come 
to form families here now, that they have communities here. And that is what's going to happen. Nigerians now are buying even other countries' passports to move their families away and move away from Nigeria. Our politicians don't see it. The country is slowly disappearing. If I talk, you say, but you're comfortable in Canada. Why are you even putting him out? My brother, I did talk, I must be me. Because, so, if I say something, as I said, I have a voice on Instagram. If I say something, at least, even if these people are not on social media, somebody that they know, their kids will be there and tell them, this, this thing you're seeing on the streets of Nigeria is valid. This is how they feel. This is venting out their frustration. They carry other people's flags. It's because they, they don't know anything else to do. You even bothered about that one. See what they do abroad here. Yeah. People tear that pally, disappear, go to other countries. Negotiate with all those uh, uh, Middle Eastern countries to play, play sports for them and get them gold and whatever medal. And deals are going, people are disappearing. That is what you people should see. Don't go and harass little boys that are hopeless on the streets of Nigeria. They're trying to vent out their anger. They're here, you know, bringing out your general and this and that. I don't know. I see it. I say it. Guys, welcome back. As I have watched this video, please, I want you to share this video because a lot of people need to hear up and also be aware of waiting the board. You do too much. These people don't want to listen to the citizens and people they jump out the comments for the country. Everybody don't tire. Everybody don't tire. Everybody don't tire. Okay. Go to Europe. If everybody run come up for the country, now who go come make the country good? My people, we have to stand up against these people and change things. That is the only way out of this. That will not be the solution.